thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. Today we will be going over Unity 3D, how to create terrain and import a first person character controller. We're going to be going over how to create a terrain, how to make mountains and valleys, and how to uh, import that to make it a world where you can walk around in with your first person character. So let's totally get started. If you haven't seen my first video on all the windows and what is where, go ahead and go and find that video. Uh, link will be in the description. But let's begin. So, up at the top of Unity, there's these windows up here. If you go to Game Object, Create 3D Object, and go down to Terrain, and click on that. In your hierarchy, you'll see that you have a terrain aspect in there now. If I zoom out with the scroll wheel, you can see I have this giant, and I mean giant, 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 terrain. Now, this thing is huge. Uh, I don't remember the exact scale of it, but it's massive. So, let's talk about it. Let's select it in our scene, or select it like this. And on the right hand side we can see the properties of it and it's got some kind of unique properties that you don't normally see um, on other uh, items in unity it's got these like mountain and tree like uh, buttons here and I'll explain that in a second but right now we're gonna do something pretty cool if you go ahead down to your assets folder down here and you right click we need to import package character controller all right a window is going to pop up like this. Just go ahead and make sure everything's checked and hit import. All right, and that'll take just a quick second. And you should get a folder like this. We're going to do the exact same step, except now we're going to import terrain assets. Okay. Again, make sure everything's checked and go ahead and import that as well. Those are going to be the those are going to be the two main folders that we're going to need. So what these are, these are Unity's standard uh, built-in kind of like props that you can use. Like they've already created these for you and they're free and you can go ahead and use them. Go ahead and double click on your standard assets folder and you'll see character controller and terrain assets. Now go ahead and click back on your terrain. And we're going to go over to the right hand side or in the middle actually and you see like a little paintbrush go ahead and click on that okay these are like think of this as your giant painting canvas okay you are the artist and you're going to paint a pretty picture so usually when you paint something you make everything one default ground texture and that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now so let's make this all grass or yeah we'll make it all grass so we'll go to edit textures Add texture. A little window will pop up like this. Go ahead and select a 2D picture. And we just imported um, these textures right here, these grass textures and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use Grass Hill. You can use any of the, this one, Good Dirt, Grass Hill, Grass and Rock. I'm going to go ahead and use Grass Hill. Double click it. Looks fine. I'm actually going to change the size of it to 5 by 5 and I'm gonna add it and as you can see all of a sudden my canvas is now green and that is because it is made up of all these little tiny grass cubes so the way the terrain works is the terrain is made up of a whole bunch of cubes and it takes this texture and it puts the terrain or the puts the texture on each of the terrain cubes so if you wanted to make your own or find your own go ahead and just go to Google or any search engine and search uh, like grass seamless texture and it will pop up with a whole bunch of options so this is great and all we've got a giant flat world but let's add a little bit more to it um, let's go ahead and click on over here you can see like a raise uh, this is the mountain maker so select this I like the first brush so click on this one and right now my brush size is one I'm gonna increase that to about 17 that uh, I'll go 27 I like that size 
and we'll go to opacity to we'll we'll do opacity at the same 27 so now when you left click on the terrain you can see we start making mountains and we can start shaping the way mountains look so we can start uh, you know it's just make mountains it's cool so go ahead and play with that a little bit and there's other brushes for example if you want like some spiky mountains you can make some spiky looking mountains and just go ahead and play with that all right so now that you've made your mountains and spent a little bit more detail on them more than I have probably uh, you can go ahead and we're going to add another texture all right so let me just make a little bit more mountains here and good all right so if you go back to your paintbrush and click edit textures add texture select a texture I'm gonna do cliff layered and I'm going to resize this to 5 just so it looks a little bit better in my scene and I'm gonna add so now I have this cliff texture and now I can paint that like that and that doesn't look totally so great so I'm going to go to my brush size and change it down and I can add little dabs here and there maybe I'll get these to look sharp and raggedy like so we'll add a little tints here and there just lightly clicking on it making it good alright so let's say you're looking at this and you're like ah, I don't really like the way this looks it's all like squarey and looks bad if you go to edit textures and edit texture uh, I'll show you what this does so if I make this 15 see how it like stretches it out so that actually might look better for us the grass is good because grass is small but rocks are big and rocky so we'll keep it at 15 so 15 actually actually looks not so bad with this build anymore so we'll go ahead and just paint on here and um, yeah let's go over what this does so this this like um, what does this do I don't really know what this does oh, 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 oh sorry this makes it so like if I select this everything gets put to that height so everything will be that height so you can see like it kinda makes a plateau um, so yeah it like extends everything to the height that you initially clicked on so if I click here this is lower it'll bring it up so yep that's how that kinda works and you can change the height so let's say uh, it's it's a little high for me I can change it to like 5.5 and see it brings everything down so that's how that works or you can bring it back up to whatever it was three and uh, alright it probably wasn't three because that's a little lower but you get the point so that could be like a little river example make a river like that um, something our scene needs is a direct light so let's go to game object light directional light and uh, just add a little bit more lighting to our scene we can go over here to go to hard shadows and uh, implement some more shadows into it get a little bit more of effect so yeah that's that so we've got this terrain but what can we do with it that's a good question uh, we can go to we're gonna add our first person character into here because now when we play you just we see the edge of the world and we don't want that so we're gonna go to character controller and we're, double click on that uh, folder and you'll find this little capsule looking thing go ahead and drag that into your scene and if I zoom in on him you can see that he is kind of halfway in between the ground see if he is like in the ground there so just go ahead and click on the moving tool and drag him above the ground like so so now if we play our game we have a we can look around and we can walk around and we're in our world pretty cool and as you can see you can't see yourself and you can jump you can walk, you can turn, you can walk in every direction. 
So yeah, it's your basic first person controller. I'm going to go ahead and pause and stop playing. So that's cool. We've got our first person controller. We've got our terrain. Let's just recap really quick on what you can do. What what uh, we discussed in this. Number one, you can import a terrain going to game object 3D terrain. There's features over here such as brush tool to paint, uh, height making mountains, flattening mountains, smoothing mountains. This is the tree. I didn't really show this, but if you go to like tree or uh, plant, you can edit, add grass texture, uh, select a grass texture, add, and you can paint grass in here. So now when we play our game, we have grass, grassy hills, or wherever we put the grass. So yeah, we can add like a little bit more, we can pull it up over here, we can make our brush size bigger, pull it around like that. We also discussed the paintbrush tool where we can edit, add textures, select textures, and we can do grass and rock um, and add that. And you can p oh, select it and you can paint with it. So you can make mountains and valleys and add a little more character to your builds per se. Um, and we also discussed how to import uh, the first person controller and how to properly put them in your world so they don't fall through. Let me just show you an example on what happens on your first person controller if you don't move them up. You get this effect where you fall through the world. It's a little weird. So just make sure you pull them up above the ground level so when you play the game you're on the ground. Thank you for joining me today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, leave a like and a comment, and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.